Hello and welcome to the Toast channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a special. Uh, I want to actually make toast this time and walk you guys through it. I'm not really using a recipe, I'm just making it off the top of my head because whatever, that's the usual way that I make bread. So today I'm going to measure my items in grams. So the reason I'm doing the scale is because flour can shift um, it could be denser, it could be looser, and that way you get a consistent measurement of how much of how much flour you use. Um, and also it makes things easier, well I mean grams is a lot easier than explaining the conversion from cups to quarts to whatever else. So uh, I like it for those reasons. This kitchen scale is pretty cheap, I think I got it on Amazon for like 10-15 bucks. So not a big um, crazy kitchen implement to add to your kitchen, it'll help you out a lot. Plus, it'll help me for my shipping calculator when I'm shipping Lolita online, so... Double usage! Oh, let me list the ingredients for you. So today we've got... Um, so we've got a little bit of warm milk. You can use milk of your choice. In this case, I have almonds. I'm sorry, California. <laughs> for your water supply, it'll continue to burn a little longer. Um, you can also use soy, coconut, even, you know, standard milk. Um, probably even non-dairy creamer, I don't know. but. That's the milk we have. And then I've got some brown sugar because, I don't know, I prefer the richer flavor than, you know, your typical the white sugar. I just like the flavor that brown sugar lends to any dish. Um, I've got an egg, my egg that has reached room temperature. That way it will easily combine with everything. Um, got a bit of yeast because we need yeast for a good bread. You need yeast for any bread that's leavened. And we've got salt as well. Just your standard, got some, some iodine in here, so I don't know if you want to use your fancy salt, just be aware, so with any kind of rock salt or chunkier salt, the uh, weight's going to be different because it's, it's uh, less dense. We're going to start out the recipe, like I said, measuring on the scale. I'm going to start by placing this bowl here, so my large, large bowl. I'm making about, I think I'm making about half of the total bread recipe, I just wanted to walk you through the process. Um, I've got a prepared dough for later on with double this, these ingredients, so I'll let you know what this is. So one cup of milk going in, this is about 204 grams, um, got the one egg, this is one large egg, I guess the egg doesn't matter how many grams it is. Alright, let's zero that. I ended up kind of eyeballing the yeast. Um, the last time I measured it, I used about a half a teaspoon. Alright, added 70 grams of brown sugar. I'm adding enough flour until the dough starts to get nice and sticky. Ooh, and kneadable. There we go. The dough just started to thicken up a little bit, so I'm going to add some more flour. I got to 300 grams of flour, and I think we're starting to get there. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I listed the salt in the ingredients, but I almost forgot it. Um, this is also super important for your bread to be properly salted because the flavors will not balance otherwise. So I'm just kind of, I put um, about a teaspoon of salt, maybe I'll have to look up how many grams that is. Here is the kneading process. You should set a timer for 10 minutes and knead throughout the whole thing. It's going to seem really long, but uh, this is what you need to have the proper gluten development within your bread. Alright, so this is the first kneaded dough. Oh, come on. Come on out. Dough. Okay. So we've got our smooth, finished dough. Oh, it should be a little tacky but um, not, not super sticky to the touch, so we are now there. I like to start with my dough a little extra moist, and then it slowly as it kneads, it will, it'll dry slightly to the part where it needs to be, or like, you know, it'll, it'll firm up to where it needs to be. Because I've had the issue of over adding flour 
and then it just gets too too dense. But in this case, it was very sticky, a little bit difficult to knead, and then you then it kind of forms up into exactly the right spot after about ten minutes of kneading. If you have a, if you happen to have a dough scraper, this will also help your kneading process be a lot easier. Um, I would recommend them. They only cost I thought they were like between like one and five dollars. But yes, this is your um, the dough, and I let this sit in the fridge for about twelve hours. And ta-da! I've jump cut to our dough twelve hours later. Hurrah! Huzzah! Um, so you can see the start the start of the uh, air bubbles forming in the dough. Beautiful. You get that uh, small, tight bubble formation. Milk bread, you know, is not very bubblicious. That's why, hence the cold rise. Um, it's not going to be super bubbly like your, like, you know, French bread, bread or baguette or something. Um, all right. Going in my little bread pan. Here's our wide shot of this baby going in the oven. Okay, moment of truth. Oh hey, Toasty 190, uh, 199. Oh, okay, it's it's over. But yes, the bread is done at 190 degrees, so we are all set. This baby cool, and then we toast them up, and I've got my accoutrement. This baby is thick, built like a pound cake. Bread reveal. Hopefully you are not deaf the kid, because this is like slightly symmetrical and uh, oh well, it's, it's like almost symmetrical, but I gave it a shot and I got kind of tired of it, so. Happy birthday to me, I made toast. Hopefully you can see it well enough in there, it started to melt during all of my multiple pictures and videos of this. But yeah, so it was a fun process, I kind of played it by ear. Just made the toast that I felt like making, and um, yeah. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Sorry that my toast has uh, become a little melty, but uh, hopefully it's still somewhat aesthetic. If you try this toast bread recipe that I kind of made up on the fly, let me know in the comments how it turned out. Do you like eating sweet dessert toast? Um, tell me your opinions. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.